Hey y'all, it's Danielle. Um, I had a lot of questions on the um, the oyster crackers, the spicy oyster crackers um, that I had talked about making today. A lot of questions on that. So um, I'm going to show y'all um, how I make them and what to do. Uh, you won't be seeing me today. I have on no makeup. I'm in my pajamas. And I would scare everybody. But um, I wanted to show y'all how um, how I do make them. So I have my ingredients here. Uh, could not find gallon size um, sandwich bags anywhere, little zip bags. So I, I just have um, some of the quart size. Um, another good idea that I have done, if you have a plastic bowl with an airtight lid, that works great too. Um, great for flipping and moving around. Um, if you're like me though, your plastic bowls and your lids are like socks in the dryer. They Once you wash them and put them away, you cannot find the lids <laughs> that, that they go to or the the bowls and the lids that go together. Um, so I'm just going to use a little quart size um, zip bags today. I've got a cup of canola oil. Um, you can use uh, vegetable oil if that's what you choose to use. You can use olive oil, really any, any type of cooking oil. I like canola oil and I have to use it just due to blood pressure and everything. Um, got a fourth of a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder. Um, powder is better than the salt, but you can use garlic salt if that's what you have. Um, here I have an entire package of dry ranch mix. Um, couldn't put the any it doesn't matter what brand couldn't put the brands can for the trademark <laughs> trademark on here but yeah any type of um just one packet of the dry ranch and it's over by your salad dress in the grocery store or at least it is here um on that i like to use the ranch uh, the 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 dry packet to make the ranch dressing um, not the ranch dip to me it is a different consistency so I use the one for the dressing if all you have on hand is the dip um, the dip maker that is fine but if you can get the the dressing maker that's better um, and then here we will use an entire uh, teaspoon of uh, the crushed red pepper um, any brand again is fine and you can do more or less if you like them a little more spicy then feel free to to add more but just that little bit of spice does um does do that i use oyster crackers um just because like i said i use them because i give them um they're great for little gifts you can put them in little um airtight containers with a bow or even an airtight jar and put a bow on it um but also, um, I make them because um, Daddy and Teresa really like them. So, I always make them a, a big thing of them around Christmas. Um, they're good any time of year, but they're great for winter. Daddy puts them in um, like tomato soup or just as, just as a little handy snack. Um, but they're really good in soup. So, I'm going to uh, throw these together um, in the bag. I'm going to use two bags of oyster crackers. Again, any brand. It doesn't matter. Or you can use any of your favorite crackers. Um, I have used saltine crackers crackers they're great um to eat with like meats and cheeses on a um, meat and cheese tray um the butter crackers they're really good um your round butter crackers are good and i have a friend that actually uses like the cheese flavored crackers and those are those are good too and those are really good as a soup or to add to like a trail mix if you wanted to do that uh give me just a moment i'm gonna get them prepared and then i'll show you what i do all right so one bag of oyster crackers fit into um each bag so then what we'll do on the other ingredients the oil the garlic powder the ranch and the um, red pepper flakes um we'll just kind of we'll split that up um into each bag like i said it's, it's best if you can get the the gallon or larger um i just i went to the store today and they were out um so i said well i can just use the quartz that's fine um again you can use a plastic bowl with an airtight lid that works great i wouldn't shake it too hard because you're going to crumble up the crackers um you just flip um so what we're going to do is i'm going to put um half of all of the ingredients here and i thought that my camera tripod would work so i could lean it down you guys could see um but it did not work out that way so um maybe that bag will stand for me yeah you just take i'm going to take a half a cup of the canola oil okay half of the ranch packet just do just do half like i say on the red pepper flakes you can add more or less, just depending on 
um, you know, how spicy you want them. Sometimes I'll do one that's really spicy and then one that's not. All right, and you want to zip it up. doesn't matter if there's air or not in the bag. It doesn't matter. You don't have to let the air out. And you just want to take it. And you just want to flip. You want to flip. You just want to kind of move it around where you can feel. Sometimes I'll, I'll prop it upside down. I'll let that oil just get really good down in that bag. That way, and let the powder get through. Um, sometimes it's good if you do have the air in the bag. That way there's, there's space for those crackers to move. Um, I'll do this. Once I see that everything's kind of coated in there, take a few minutes. Um, and everything's kind of mixed and you can see that it's all kind of getting together. You can see the oil and the peppers together. Um, then I might leave it for three or four minutes on one side and then come back through and flip it. Come back through and flip it. Just keep doing that until you see that your crackers are coated really, really, really well. I'm going to do this with both bags. Um, 10, 15 minutes is usually what I like to do, just because I want them good and coated. And I mean, it's nothing, especially if you're working around the house or whatever, you, it doesn't hurt to leave them for a little while. Um, they're not gonna get, they're not gonna get soggy. Um, you just keep flipping and flipping and flipping. I'm gonna let those set for a little while and then you can see where everything's kind of grouped together. Um, I'm gonna let that set for a while and then um, I'm going to come back and I'll just flip it again and let it go. I'm gonna do two bags like that. Um, I like to lay mine out on a paper towel on my counter or um, on a, a cookie sheet that's that's lined with um, paper towel to me is better because it absorbs better. You can use the wax paper, but it's just gonna get slick and not really absorb the excess oil. Paper towels are the best. You can just pick whatever your favorite absorbent paper towel is. Um, keep flipping. Um, and do that. Now, some people, and I have before, um, especially if maybe you were running late making them and you want them to dry quicker, you can stick them in the oven on 350 for like maybe, you know, three to five minutes and just kind of let them dry. Um, but I mean, if you go further than that, they are going to, they're going to harden a little bit and they can, you know, kind of get a little too crispy and burn. Um, you still want them to be just, they'll be your cracker flavor if you let them dry. But if you're running behind, need them for a quick Christmas party, or you needed to take something for a quick uh, snack to work, you forgot, and oh no, you, know, you can dry them in the oven, but they dry pretty quickly on paper towels. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll lay them out. I'll let you guys see, um, see the finished product laid out. We'll let it dry. All right, I'm back. I didn't have the, a camera like a time lapse to show you, but um, it's been about 10, 12 minutes that I've just come through and, and steadily flip, flip the crackers. I've got two bags. Um, I'm gonna open them up, lay them out to dry. I'm drying, I usually just lay them out for, you know, about five, two minutes. Um, it, that's all it really takes. You just kind of want some of the excess oil just to, to run off. Um, do your paper towel out. My hands are clean, by the way. <laughs> um, get them get them all out. You just kind of want the excess oil to, um, to drain off of them. You can also cover them with a paper towel. That kind of helps speed up the process getting that, that excess oil off because you don't want them just oily. Um, you want them, you want them somewhat dry because once you seal them up, um, you know, you don't want them too damp. You, just, you don't have to mash. Just go. Okay. I have to mash them just kind of do that I usually leave that about five minutes um Lainey had chips and salsa for her for her snack and that's all over the place um but yeah just let them dry and then um I, I bought um just some little containers um, to put them in, you can just kind of do the, the airtight lids on them. Um, they're really cute. You can put tags, give them as gifts, or I'm just taking them, giving them, you know, as a snack. But um, I bought some of those. Usually, I keep them in a Ziploc bag as well um, until closer to time. But they will keep in an airtight container. 
um, for weeks. They don't usually last that long, but you can um, make them and, and keep them in your, in your cabinet as long as they're airtight. Um, but you can see some of that excess oil has already started. It's on my paper towel and it's already started, but there you go. Those are the oyster crackers. Um, if you want to let me know in the comments if you try this, how you like them, um, or if you have done this, if you have a variation on my recipe or if you use different seasonings, I would be interested to know. Um, I always like to try new try new recipes with it. Um, so, yeah, I'd love to hear some of your recipes, um, variations on this, or your, your Christmas snacks. Um, any snacks that you guys like to make. Um, I love to make party foods and um, appetizers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments if you enjoy this recipe, if you'd like to see more like it. Merry Christmas and hope you guys enjoy. Bye!